Hello and welcome back. I do hope everyone is doing okay and feeling really well and happy. I know what you're thinking, like, why are your eyes like made up and like beat to the gods and snatched, but your face is like a bit lackluster, girl. That is because I am doing, of course, a foundation first impression and review. Now, this foundation is fairly new on the market and is by Makeup Revolution, of course. I love that brand, we know. I have been so excited to get this in the mail and give it a go on camera and in real life, I suppose. But um, yeah, so if you guys wanna see me do a first impression and review on the foundation stick by Makeup Revolution, then stick around and I will jump into it right about now. Okay, so I wanna give you guys a little bit of info from the um, Tan Beauty website about the product. This foundation cost me five pounds, which I think is like absolutely insane, so good, so affordable and amazing. Then it says, foundation just got faster. Okay, girl. We all love a fast application. Launching in 18 shades and a range of undertones. Fast base foundation quickly perfects contours and highlights complexion. The easy to apply stick formula melts into the skin, blending seamlessly to leave a fresh and dewy finish. Twist up, swipe on and blend out with fingers, beauty sponge or your favourite foundation brush. This foundation stick does have five stars on the Tan Beauty website, which I think is like, you know, quite good, pretty like, you know, um, impressive in my opinion. And we do have 18 shades, which is like so good for like drugstore. I think so anyway. And they're like, you know, shade range looks kind of like, you know, very inclusive, very friendly to everyone and everyone's skin tone and complexion. And um, yeah, I think that is phenomenal. So shout out to you, Makeup Revolution. That is really, really good. I am so like here for that 100%. I bought the shade F5 which I am so unsure if is going to match me, but I'll find out, I suppose. It's kind of hard to match yourself online. Um, their pictures are not really good at like, you know, seeing the actual shade. I watched other people swatching it and kind of like, you know, gauged my own shade from that. And that's what I did. The packaging feels really matte and I like that it feels really classy and like, you know, sophisticated. How can packaging be sophisticated? Um, I suppose it can, but I mean, whatever. It feels feels really nice and it feels like a really good weight for the price considering you're paying only five pounds which I still can't get over and then you pop it off and you twist it up okay so this is going to be my shade supposedly okay before I go in with the foundation I do want to prime my face with the model zone face base face primer and I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand now I find this is very kind of like silicone based and um, it feels really good on my skin. I can't say if my foundation lasts any longer because I don't really know to be honest, like I don't notice that much of a difference. However, it does minimise my pores and my pores do feel and look a little bit, you know, less like protruding and like, you know, horrible and there. That's good enough for me just to hide my, um, you know, pores. I do quickly want to mention that I do normally like, you know, colour correct around my five o'clock shadow area because I am a boy. Some people don't seem to think so, but um, I I am, hello, I am male. Anyway, but um, yes, yeah, so I would normally do that, but because I am doing a first impression, I am not doing that today. So I do look kind of red and irritated from shaving, which I would normally like, you know, go ahead and color correct as well. I do have my kind of like bluish undertone to my skin from my five o'clock shadow, as I mentioned. I do have redness from spots. And um, yeah, we are going to get the real tea on the foundation girl because my skin ain't perfect. I have have texture. I am just like, you know, a not perfect, an imperfect person. I am now going to do the first swipe and see if I did a good job on my colour match. That is perfectly fine. This is gliding on like absolute butter. So now I am going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I am going to begin to blend out the foundation. Okay. 
I do have to say that I think I did a really good job at colour matching myself online. The coverage is really good, I can't deny it okay. This is definitely like, you know, medium to full, buildable, definitely okay. But I have had to go over some areas like where my spots were maybe twice with the foundation. I did find that if I put it in one area and then blended out another area, that area had kind of like set down a little bit and became quite difficult to blend out. Nevertheless, it has blended out with a little bit of, you know, elbow grease. Is that the right word? Elbow grease. But um, anyway, so it has blended out and my skin is looking um pretty good. I mean, I like the way it looks and the match, I can't get over it, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and conceal. I am taking the Conceal and Define Concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is a really good concealer. I do have a first impression and review on my channel, which I will leave down below in the um, description box, so make sure to check that out. So now I do have my foundation and my concealer and they kind of go together really well. I am super impressed with how my face looks. Apart from how glowy and kind of like greasy I look, I feel like you could like, you know, cook some chips on my face, but you know, whatever. So I do need some powder and um, I'm going to go ahead and powder my face and do the rest of my makeup. And I will come back and tell you guys how I am feeling about the actual foundation. But so far I am super impressed and I'm quite liking it. Well, I'm loving it to be honest, girl. Like, I'm feeling my oats. Corner, I mean, come on. This foundation is phenomenal. I am in love with it, like, genuinely. The price is amazing. The coverage is phenomenal. I mean, what else can I say? The brand is an amazing brand all round. 18 shades is out of this world good. Um, I mean, I recommend it 110%. So get to Superdrug, go on superdrug.com, go on to tambeauty.com and get yourself a foundation stick because you will not regret it. Like, I feel like I look so flawless. My skin looks phenomenal. The longer I have wore it, I feel like my skin is glowing in the best way possible, not like chippy grease fat kind of thing. Like a really nice glow and I just, I just love it. I definitely recommend it. You guys need to get it and I will do a little check-in later on this evening to say how it went. Okay, so I am back and um, my face is looking really oily and really shiny and um, I'm not too bothered about it because at the end of the day I can always use powder. Today of course I haven't because I am doing the first impression and review and I wanted to see how it looks you know going on its own without any help of like you know retouching and I look really shiny. Um, are you alright darling? Anyway so yeah I'm looking like a disco ball but I am still feeling the fantasy girl. Because I still like it and even though it has gone quite oily and it does transfer quite easily I feel like if I put some powder on top then it would be perfectly fine and um, I can deal with that personally But yeah, so I'm gonna bring the camera right up close and personal Ignore my lips because I did film another video after this one before and like this is why I have this kind of like Overdrawn top lip you guys would know when you see that one, but this one is going up first I mean, I mean, I mean. So yeah, um, this is it up close and look, like I say, it does transfer and like my eye makeup is going everywhere. I do have the audience. <laughs> Apart from it looking a little bit oily and I feel like it has faded a lot from my chin area. Like I can see my five o'clock shadow a lot more than before. This is how my skin is looking. King. And um, yeah, so overall I am still very impressed and um, I would keep it on for longer but I want to take my makeup off so bad because I want to chill out. <laughs> so yes, I will continue to use it. I still like, you know, recommend it. I think this is a really good buy for £5. What do you have to say, darling? Baby. Alright, so yeah, I will jump back to me from the past and uh, speak to you then. And there you have it guys, that was my first impression and review on the foundation stick by Make It Revolution. I am a big fan, I am in love with it and um, you need it, so grab it before it's gone off the shelf. 
But um, I do believe these are all in stock on the Tan Beauty website. So, you know, if you don't want to go out in the cold, because I know it's been snowing where I live, um, you can go into your bed, sit on your laptop, type in Tan Beauty, uh, grab yourself a foundation and live your life, and then beat yourself to the gods. I appreciate you all watching this video and um, leaving a comment if you do or liking if you do. Please do. Please give me a thumbs up or leave me a lovely comment. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video and of course subscribe to see much more content from me. I do makeup videos, you know, example one right now, this video, and then I do Bratz related videos as well, Bratz dolls, in case you don't know who they are, then search them up because you're missing out. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then hit the subscribe button. But even if you are interested in makeup or like brats, still subscribe because I upload both kind of content. So uh, be here or be square. I don't know what that means, but um, anyway, so thank you for watching. I love you all. You are all amazing. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.